Back in 2006, I was working in a custom call center, a work that used to drag myself every day to the, to the call center. Every day I would go there, listening to the end of the line, to complaining customers, furious customers, and activating SIM cards. But one day, I received this call from a friend. I would call it the rescue call. My friend called Leila, and she told me, Abir, there's this opportunity coming to Oman where a big, huge international company called the uh, Institute for International Education, based in San Francisco, and they're opening a program in Oman where they actually uh, help in women empowerment. I'm like, yeah, Leila, please tell me more. And she's like, this program usually, it aims for women empowerment. We're reducing the digital gap and create professional development classes. I didn't have any skills of training digital skills to women or to men or to any training skills. But I know that this program is what I wanted. I know that this is it and this is what helped me to contribute something good to the, pro to the community. And also I knew that this would help me to, take, to be out of my sophisticated bubble and contribute and to know more about my women in the country. Have you ever, have any one of you heard of Amai? Or been to Amai? Okay, that's great. However, for those who didn't been to Amman, I never heard of it. Amman is around uh, seven times bigger than the Netherlands, with a quarter population only. In Oman, we have around uh, 12 spoken language across the country. It's a very diverse, rich country. We have the mountains, the seas, the simple villages, the, the farms. It's very simple and rich in country. Women in remote areas are very tradition trained, uh, trenched, very tradition trenched. Women in these areas, although they are well educated, but they look at marriage as the secure option after graduating from high school. And that is because of the limited lack of opportunities, job opportunities in these places. And due to the, this, they have a high dependency on the male gender. Usually the husband or the father are the decision makers. That would make them high dependency on it. Back to my rescue call from my friend. I sat with her, flourished my CV as one of the main requirements. They wanted MBA, PhD holder, and I have none of that. But all that I knew, I want to apply for that job. I applied for it. And after four interviews, I got accepted. And I'm like, okay, that's great. And here was the first step to the risk. I had to sign the contract without looking at the terms and conditions. I do not want to read anything. I just want that job really badly. And the second risk is I didn't tell my parents. After signing the contract, they told me, okay, I really have to go to the US within one month for training. And I'm like, okay, it's getting serious. I have to tell my parents. <laughs> After a long discussion with my father, without me knowing, he just went to the US embassy and he had a simple request. Just make sure you bring my daughter back safely to me. How adorable is that? Finally, back to the Women Technology Program. The Women Technology Program we have to deal with the Oman Women Associations. We have around 45 associations across the Sultanate of Oman. And these associations, they have workshops where simple workshops where actually they deal with stitching, cooking, and memorizing Holy Quran. Although those women in the remote areas, they have high potential, but they have limited options where they access either these classes or take care of their, fami take care of their families. But we managed with the program that this will enable them to be connected to the market more through these IT skills and professional development. In Oman, we have 11 different governance. The diversity of these, we have to drive 100 kilometers across to visit these Oman Women Association. The main struggle we faced is the lack of confidence of these women in these remote areas. They are, don't have, they are capable of doing all of this. They basically said, what do I need IT for? How will it help me? How it will add a value to me? So here we came up with, we have to create role models in these areas. If these, if these role models made it, then the rest of the women can make it. 
And we started training the trainers. I remember this lady called Bushra, one of our trainers. She's a shy 21 years old. She's a fresh graduate. She couldn't complete her study due to the financial problems, and she couldn't take care of her parents too. Her mom pushed her to this project, and she's like, please train, train my daughter. At least she'll be a help for me. During the program, and we start training the trainers, Bushra was one of the best trainers we have in this program. And she wasn't really teaching in one region only. She was training in different regions. She managed to complete her studies, and she managed to, complete, uh, to, co to contribute financially to the family. Here we changed the perspective of actually you guys can do something instead of taking marriage as a choice and no other option. Through this program, we managed to, to open 15 computer training centers across Oman. And we graduated 2,000 women with success stories. Now, was it to me, instead of me listening to complaining customers end of the night, I was listening to passionate women. Instead of me activating SIM cards, I was helping women in initiating their dreams and step out of their norms. Instead of sitting in the chair 24 hours, I was actually visiting these computer centers where I see women talking and expressing the changes they made. I believe this program, it, although it was a two years program, it had to come at an end. And so the journey had to come at an end. I believe joint forces should be there where individuals, corporate and organization join forces to make, to contribute to sustainable goods to the program. This can be done through three main core tasks. is connect, create, and contribute. Connect to the community, create opportunities, and contribute to the growth of these opportunities. Thank you.